All right, everyone. The first episode of Modern Choice Financial Podcast is rolling. Finally, after months of preparation and getting this room ready for our guests, uh, we can have up to two live guests and maybe two that can join us through Zoom. And uh, mainly, we are preparing this podcast for all our clients. As you know, um, in our team, uh, we try to do as much as we can for our clients. So once they come into our office, they can accomplish as much as possible. So whoever know me in the past, they know that I started as an insurance and real estate agent uh, about eight, eight years ago, if I'm not mistaken. So things evolved and I start seeing the need for offering other services because sometimes this word is pretty small and uh, our clients go to other person and this other person knows other person and eventually it becomes um, a snowball of confusion for our clients and obviously uh, it's best for everybody when they come into our office we can offer them all the services that is necessary um, to take care of their business so um, I'm gonna basically give you guys a couple of announcements first big announcement that uh, wasn't really uh, uh, happened previously because we were just ready we were just getting ready to do it in a timely manner uh, once our poly signed the main uh, kind of like a mini billboard in front of our office and everything else is set up but uh, I feel like it's about time we finally need to uh, mention what we've been preparing this whole past year as you guys know we bought this building uh, which is across from Walmart right here on uh, Charleston and Decatur with the intention of having our multi-service office as you can see hopefully behind me this is our logo we're doing mortgage real estate insurance and tax is on the preparation hopefully by end of the year it's gonna be part of uh, our bunch of services that we offer and hopefully um, if everything works out and God wants everything happen the way it should by next year my goal is to add property management I know one of your questions might be hey do you do property management not yet uh, we're not set up for it yet but definitely uh, moving forward we want to add this uh, great service because I feel like a lot of our investors when they buy properties through us uh, they need someone to manage it for them professionally and as much as I try to stay away from it because uh, it's a lot of intensive work a lot of responsibilities um, I think it's time that we need to go into that but good thing is currently these three main services that are fully active, fully functioning in our office. We bought the building. We're not going anywhere. That's the most important thing. One of the biggest message I want to have for all our clients is uh, we're not here uh, temporarily. Uh, one of the major reasons why we bought the building was because we want to establish ourselves, root ourselves in the community. And you guys know that two years down the road, five years down the road, 20 years down the road, when you come, this building is gonna be here hopefully and we're gonna be operating out of that. If there's a need for expansion, hopefully down the road, we, we add other office buildings, but this is our building. We, I purchased it last year and with the intention of rooting in the community and, and you guys know, anytime you want any of these services, where to go and there is a brand that is here to stay and hopefully grow and it's all because of you guys support all of my past clients my friends referring their friends and family and relative and we try to always do our best to uh, give them the best service so they can come back happy and also refer their friends and family to us happily oh, with that being said uh, let me just explain the intention of this podcast as you know, the brand itself 
should kind of sort of speak for itself. Uh, Modern Choice is the name of the brand. It kind of like goes down to the different uh, pillar of the company. Mortgage, real estate, insurance, and tax. Eventually other services that we're going to add when the time is right. Um, we try to kind of like hopefully change the game uh, because over the last eight years that I've been involved in real estate, insurance, and mortgage, I've seen a lot of things that I feel like it can be done differently or for the lack of better word, better. Uh, there's a lot of area of improvement in each one of those services and that's why we try to modernize it and make it better. And that's uh, pretty much the reason why uh, we came with that name for our brand, Modern Choice Realty, Modern Choice Lending, Modern Choice Insurance, because um, back in the day, I remember when I started, uh, I started as an all estate agent. It was just one company and one rate. And if my clients were not happy, I had a fear of losing them. But right now we're set up as a brokerage and uh, we have hundreds of different companies in all different areas. We just literally almost finalized one of the hotels in town, uh, reinsuring them. Um, not the five star one and hopefully one day it's going to be one of those but uh, one of the smaller hotels with nine buildings uh, we can do casino bar you name it um, as far as the guest as i said this podcast is mainly built over uh, questions that we used to get on a daily basis and it become repetitive and i feel like you know what this is time that we can hopefully start answering our clients and friends and audience questions in a matter of our podcast and also videoing it and it's going to go to our youtube channel if you go to uh, youtube and look for real tourmaroos there's a playlist it's all dedicated to our podcast name modern choice financial podcast um, as the name hopefully talks for itself it's regarding everything financial uh, we were, we're going to talk about all the different loan product all the different investment product uh, on the mortgage side you guys have any question uh, one of the biggest question that i used to get um, during the uh, crazy time of real estate in the last three years is about appraisal um, in the next two weeks we're going to have a guest that talks only about the appraisal one of the best appraisers probably over 15 years experience in town uh, we're gonna bring him over um, today we actually had a guest uh, from the mortgage company that I'm affiliated as a mortgage broker uh, all-american um, home mortgage unfortunately due to personal matter um, last minute uh, we had a cancellation but I didn't want that l basically let us down so I had to just commit to the goal and I just go live with you guys to just share the news that uh, starting from today, every Wednesday uh, at six o'clock, hopefully we're going to go live. It might be a couple of minutes off due to, you know, uh, set up and making sure the sound voice, everything is good to go. But the goal is if you guys support, we're going to stay on top of it every single Wednesday at six o'clock. We're going to go live. To answer all your questions we're going to um, post the topic for the upcoming uh, podcast or upcoming episode a week ahead so you guys can actually ask your questions so we're gonna hopefully factor those questions uh, into our podcast as me as your host uh, I'm going to ask those questions from our uh, guest and if I can answer it or I should answer it I will answer it myself um and if you guys missed the episodes and you couldn't basically see us live you definitely can go back in, within the next couple of days it's going to be uploaded uh, in our youtube channel under modern choice financial podcast and uh, you can just watch those episodes and probably on the comment section ask your questions and we can definitely go back and answer it um mainly the whole uh, podcast is going to be regarding 
real estate, insurance, which insurance itself, it has all kinds of different sectors. Uh, I have all the licenses. I had to because I was opening all estate agency back in the day and they forced me into it and I'm glad I did it. So I can uh, freely talk about all the different section of insurance, whether if it's commercial, personal, auto, home, landlord, renters, um, health insurance, life insurance, which this is a very underestimated uh, section of uh, insurance because uh, under the life license, uh, that's when a uh, financial advisor comes in and, and they set up, let's say, your annuity plan or your uh, retirement plan or uh, your money management and, and trying to basically, let's say, uh, if you're at age of 40, you want to retire by age of 55 and you want to make sure you make this much money per month, uh, we have a plan for that and it goes under life license. Uh, under the insurance uh, agencies or insurance basically professional uh, licensing so there's all kinds of great things that we're going to talk about here and um, i really want you guys to give your support and if you think uh, informations are helpful for you guys just let us know if you have any question drop it in uh, stay tuned follow our social medias uh, they're all on their Realtor Merus for now. Eventually, we're going to go probably uh, rebrand everything on their Modern Choice Group. Uh, but currently, as basically I'm the owner of the brand, um, I'm basically the face of the brand. And you guys have been following me and know me. I'm just trying to uh, let you guys know that these are the services that are offered under our office here in uh, Charleston and Decatur at our office right across from Walmart and um, the podcast is here an avenue for us to get connected with our clients and our audience to answer all their questions and concerns um, there's all kinds of uh, topics that are already gathered over the last couple of years that we've been pretty much uh, getting ready for answering those questions because you become repetitive as I said earlier and um, it's just uh, answering the same question over and over become like, oh my God, I'm just uh, answering all these questions on a daily basis. So let's have episodes about it so we can actually send the link to our future client if they have a, a question about a specific topic. And uh, hopefully if they actually start following our podcast and uh, our YouTube channel and all the social medias, they probably don't even have those questions because we proactively trying to answer those questions because there's only so many um, uh, common questions in each one of these um, industries, whether if it's real estate, mortgage, insurance, and hopefully down the road, tax and financials and everything else. Uh, with that being said, um, uh, let me make sure I didn't I didn't uh, forget anything so far. As I said, uh, go to our YouTube channel, look for Modern Choice Financial, and it's technically a playlist under Realtor Meru's uh, YouTube channel. And also, today um, we had planned to talk about mortgage, but unfortunately the uh, owner of the mortgage company that I'm the loan officer there, uh, as I mentioned, he couldn't make it for today. Um, I'm going to answer a couple of questions that um, I had before uh, from my clients and I was about to ask him. Um, and then if you have any more questions, please drop them in the comment section wherever you're watching, whether it's TikTok, real, uh, um, Facebook or Instagram or maybe live on Facebook. Um, they all come to one group and I have my marketing department. Uh, that they're gonna bring up those questions to me personally. If I can answer them, I would. If not, uh, we're gonna ask the guest to answer it for us. If you happen to ask him during our live session, we definitely answer it right on our live session. Um, so one of the most important uh, questions that get thrown around nowadays is, what is going on with this market? Um, 
and a lot of people have all the different uh, controversial ideas about it but it boils down to one simple thing which is to simplify that is basic uh, uh, we'll say business 101 supply and demand right so last three years it was crazy because the interest rate was lower a lot of people were qualified to purchase and and a lot of people were selling so the market was rolling like crazy i remember i listed a property uh on a saturday morning at 8 a.m the property went live but by 8 p.m i had 15 offers on it and um, that was 2021 and it wasn't only me all the properties in the market they were getting on average anywhere between 15 to 30 offers within the first three days of getting even listed um that was complete seller's market right because if you don't buy there's another 30 people online they're gonna buy therefore lots of those properties got sold over real market value which is the appraised value what is appraisal we're gonna have a whole episode about it but i'm gonna just give you a sneak peek of what is appraiser's job and uh, they go to school and get licensed for it and that's what they do what they do is if someone want to buy a property with loan the property have to be appraised for the bank or financial institution or mortgage company whatever you're going to name it that they're going to lend on that deal appraisers are getting hired buyer is the one that pays for appraisal fee always because buyer is the one getting that loan and buyer pays for the appraisal fee which is roughly about five to six seven hundred depends on what type of property the size of the property how much work there is for the appraisers to appraise it they go into the subject property which is the property that the buyer going to purchase and preferably they're going to look at the property in that neighborhood um, usually in the united states most neighborhoods they have a repeating uh, model home uh, those are the easy one because it's so easy to say hey in this neighborhood name whatever uh same model home was sold four times in the last let's say three to six months the average price was this much the condition of the subject property that we're trying to um, lend on is let's say 500,000, and those other properties were sold anywhere from 470 to 520 and based on the condition of the current property versus of the property that been sold they price the property so it's not a personal opinion of the appraiser a lot of people they especially in the previous market they didn't like the appraisers <laughs> because they thought they're the deal breaker but they're just doing their job and um, they just got to go by what the market tell appraisers as far as what's been sold and what it basically comes down to the real market value of this subject property um so i'm getting we're going to have all this uh, in-depth conversation about appraisal and how the appraisers come up with all those pricing and all that in our future episodes um but what i can tell you is a lot of people used to pay over real market value which was the appraised value of the appraisal um on that property why because it was a huge competition uh, i remember on the buyer side there were clients that we offered 33 34 properties on them on their uh, behalf basically and only one got accepted the rest of them they all got rejected they were willing to pay 10 15 20 thousand dollar over asking price meaning if the <laughs> if the seller had an idea of hey i want to sell my home for five hundred thousand. They almost knew that the home gonna go get sold at least for 510 minimum because that was just a complete seller's market but today as we talk we're towards end of october of 2023 and we're in complete buyer's market and i explain why um we're in a complete reverse now back in the day people used to pay more than appraisal value more than the basically real actual market value of the property 
uh, anywhere from 10,000 to in some cases 30, 40,000 dollar depends on the property. Now it's in reverse. Sellers are already conditioned to pay anywhere from one to three percent of the uh, uh, property purchase amount credit to buyer. This goes from builders, the new home builders. They all almost have this program. They go anywhere from one to three percent of a purchase price as in credit towards buyer's closing cost. I'm gonna explain what goes in closing cost in detail in the future episodes. I know this is one of those main questions. What is closing cost? Why am I paying this? I thought I need to pay only down payment. Well, I wish that was the case. Um, but anyway, uh, right now, uh, sellers are conditioned whether they are the builders or they're the ordinary seller, like uh, resale uh, owners. Someone that their home is two years old, 10 years old, whatever. And they know that in this market, they have to pay some money to a buyer. Look at the situation. This is exactly in reverse of what we experienced in the last three years. So buyer is getting actually money from the buyer, from the seller to apply that money towards the um, what's called buy down. And there's different method of buy down the rate. Um, you, we have 2 1 buy down, 3 1 buy down, uh, buy down for the um, whole length of 30 years of loan. And what that means is um, we can apply that money that we're getting from the seller in credit towards buyer's closing costs. We can apply that for um, buyers to pay the mortgage company to buy down the rent. In some cases, it would be uh, first two years. Let's say the ongoing rate is 7%. First year, you start at 5%. Second year is 6%. Third year, it goes back to the actual rate, which is 7%. But um, everybody knows that what goes up must comes down. That's just the rule of uh, land, right? So. This interest rate is a very temporary situation. We all know that uh, it won't last because otherwise this country would just explode. <laughs> and um, eventually, maybe it's six months down the road, maybe about a year down the road, but it's not gonna be anything more than two years down the road for sure. This interest rate will come down. So if you're a buyer, you're overthinking and you're hearing all these uh, uh, my cousin said this, my co-worker said that, everybody's expert, right? Everybody do real estate deal on a daily basis and they know the game like back of their hand. <laughs> so um, everybody become, uh, they don't have bad intention, don't get me wrong. They want to help. Just like in many cases when we were growing up, our parents tried to help us, tried to advise us, hey, son, daughter, don't do this, don't do that. It's not good for you. Um, you got to study this, especially me being Persian. In Persian community, it's very um, common that parents want their kids to be only three things, either uh, engineer or doctor or lawyer. That's it. That's all they want to see. Like nothing else exists. Um, but what if the kid want to be a great musician, composer or great artist? Maybe, a, I don't know, maybe a... a um, Hollywood actor or actress. You never know, right? I mean, I'm just making an example. Or they want to be a nurse. They don't want to be a doctor, but they want to be a nurse. But Or many other things. They just have passion for cars. They want to be a very good mechanic. What's wrong with that? We need those, right? What I'm trying to say is not everybody that tried to give you advice, even though the intention behind their advice is actually a good intention, they don't really necessarily give you the right advice just because they're just not a professional in that field and what they know is kind of outdated oh i remember 10 years ago when i bought my house guess what this market changes on a monthly weekly maybe even daily basis from today to tomorrow things are different especially when it comes to lending lending or mortgage uh, industry basically it, it kind of flows with uh, with um, the stock market the stock market doing well um, 
you know, it affects the rate. If the stock market is not doing well, it affects the rate. So it's all like uh, seesaw together, right? Um, so therefore, the, the um, macro um, changes that are happening, it can happen within daily basis. That a lot of people are not even aware of it because they're not dealing with it on a daily basis unless they are the actual professional active on duty like us that we go through different scenarios of uh, mortgages or um, real estate and we're dealing with this market we can literally sense it what's going on uh, versus oh, i remember 15 years ago when i bought or sold the property that's how it went well guess what things changed um and pretty much uh, end of the day what we're trying to say is this is a complete buyer's market uh, I just got to tell you one main thing that hopefully brighten everybody's mind about what's going on here's the reality you can have both you can have a low interest rate and low price of the house these are exactly the seesaw situation just like the last three years when interest rate runs went down home prices went up because supply and demand if you remember right there was a lot of people in the market that tried to purchase their properties and there's a lot of buyers in the market and obviously bring the demands a lot higher than usual and the commodity which is the houses price went up and people even pay not only the high price on top of the high price they even paid extra just to get the property <laughs> that was exactly what was going on Right now, it's in reverse. We have about 10 to 15% drop in many neighborhoods all across the country, but we really don't care about the rest of the country. We, we're talking about Las Vegas. Las Vegas is a very unique market. Uh, if you Google, my boy Google knows a lot, believe it or not. So you can go there and look for it for yourself uh, because whatever I say in here is a true fact. You can fact check that and uh, unless we know what we are trying to tell you, we won't open our mouth. That's the whole thing. November of this year, next month, they're going to, if nothing horribly happened, they're going to start the project for this fast track train from Las Vegas to Los Angeles. It's scheduled to be finalized no later than 2027. Right now we're in 2023, almost end of 2023. Let's say maximum four years down the road. Here's what I can tell you guys. In these next four years, if you can afford to buy any property, I don't care what it is. It's a one bedroom, one bedroom condo. If it's a three bedroom townhouse, if it's a mansion, anything, buy it. Remember and mark my word, Las Vegas is about to explode. We're going to have a lot of uh, new uh, a sports team building the stadiums here and they're moving their team and everything in here Hollywood is transferring here uh, a section of it obviously not the entire Hollywood right and then there's a you know um, news about we don't know how accurate it is yet don't quote me on that but they're talking about negotiating the land for um, Disneyland so obviously after all of these amazing stuff happen and we're just about to have two mega resort open Fountain Blue which has thousands of new employees and new job opportunities there is uh, another one right across from our IKEA here in town on 215 and Durango um, a casino name Durango that's opening up that's another thousand plus jobs and this this city is exploding okay and we we have a huge wave and sea of people moving into town on a daily basis so obviously i can't talk for i don't know new york i can't talk for washington i can't talk for um i don't know kansas city and to be honest those markets is not our topic we're talking about greater Las Vegas area which is uh, mm, consider the actual Las Vegas Valley Henderson North Las Vegas and it goes all the way to uh, uh, 
um, our board, border town, which is Boulder City. So these three major towns are unique and we're having a floodgate of people moving in here and uh, property values goes up. Mark my word. You can afford to buy today. Um, I think you have to buy. Why? Because five years down the road, three years down the road, you probably never going to afford to buy. Just mark my word on that. Mm. For the simple fact that you're going to have a lot of people moving. Everybody needs properties and everywhere you look, they're building. Okay? Because they know. The builders, they know. They have big financial analysis and, and they're assessing what's going on in our macro market and they know there is a need for properties and housings and that's why they keep building they don't stop well here's the thing if you're a buyer you buy property today at let's say 15 percent on average discount from three years ago you already won because the price the main actual price that you paid for that property is about 10 15 percent less than your friend or your cousin or your co-worker that bought a property two years ago I'm not saying they got a bad deal, but things change, right? It's like Tesla. People bought Tesla at $90,000. The same Tesla today is 65, 70,000. I mean, at the time, that was the price. I mean, it is what it is. That's how market is. Uh, but here's the thing. Today, the reason why it's complete buyer's market and it's in buyer's favor is you buying the properties at a discounted price compared to the last three years. And then about a year, maybe maximum two years down the road, interest rate will come down, hopefully, and it will, eventually it will, and you would just refinance to a lower rate, and there you go, you won twice. You bought a property at a cheaper price, then you get a um, refinance rate at a way lower rate, maybe four, five, three. I don't know what's going to be. We can't really predict that. But one thing is for sure, it will go down. It won't stay at 7% or 6.5% or whatever it is today. And then the beauty of it is if we can utilize that buy down strategy that I mentioned, uh, you don't have any extra pocket as a buyer. You can get the credit from the seller apply towards that rate buy down for the next two to three years so you're really not paying let's say seven percent rate you're paying starting at five percent four and a half percent whatever it might be until um, the next two years or in some cases if you can do the three to one buy down um, you have three years so basically if the ongoing rate the actual interest rate on your mortgage is seven percent you start at four percent you go to five you go to six and then Finally, it goes to the actual 7%, which is your real rate. Um, and meanwhile, you didn't pay the 7%. You start at 4%, 5%, and then 6%. And, and if the interest rate goes down, you just refinance to a real 30 years fixed rate and done. If not, then, hey, if everybody else is paying 7%, you're paying 7% three years down the road. Not bad. You didn't start with 7%. You didn't lose anything. So I don't want to drag this to like a two hours conversation. I hope um, it was informative enough and kind of like a little nugget to what we're going to discuss in our future podcast. We're going to have amazing guests, all industry professionals. We're going to talk about different topics. As I mentioned, please follow our social medias. They're all on the Realtor Maru's. Uh, on YouTube, go to our uh, playlist called Modern Choice Financial Podcast. We already have three pre previous episodes. Obviously, it was under a different name. We just rebranded our podcast to be unified with our branding of Modern Choice. It used to be called Milestone Builders Show. And uh, now, after we discussed with many industry professionals, they all advised that, you know what? Let's just unify everything under the same brand so it's more recognizable and easier to align with each other so that's why we rebrand our podcast and we named it the name of the brand modern choice financial because we talk about financials and everything you need to know or hopefully you have to know 
um, before it's too late regarding financials. With that being said, uh, thank you guys for following. Um, ask your questions. If you think this episode was helpful, share it with others. Make sure all your friends and families or whoever you really care about follow our social medias and podcasts. Uh, it's free content. We take our time to sit here and, and talk about what is the actual question of yours that might be down the road. Question of your cousin, relative, friend, boyfriend, girlfriend, God knows, right? So the goal is to create a community so we all can inform each other about uh, important stuff uh, before it's too late. Remember, if you live in Las Vegas, don't miss the boat. You got four years to catch up. Once it's gone, you're going to scratch your head and like, you can't undo that. There are certain things that we just can't go back, just like our age. We can't go back. We can't get younger, right? You just got to make sure we do what we can today. And these are one of those situations I hope you understand. And if you need more information or you have more questions regarding that, uh, by all means, just drop it in the comment section. Uh, in the future, I would have a co-host behind those cameras in front of us, um, obviously. And if there will be more questions, we can answer your questions live on the spot. Other than that, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your support. And see you guys later.